Alright guys, so a quick video to address a situation. So you guys probably might be familiar with the YouTube Brony, I think I pronounced his name. So on my latest video about the TikToker who unalived himself on live because he's being falsely accused of being a pito, Brony had commented under there and he would say I was in bad faith because I had accused him of being a pito in the past with the YouTube short video that I made a long time ago. Here's what he said. I remember that one time you made a YouTube short of me claiming I've been accused of doing some Mark Kelly type behavior. I think it's very hilarious to make this video talk about how false allegations are bad and that people shouldn't be doing things as such, yet you claim my behavior is similar to a child predator who had CP and tight sex trafficked and sexually abused said minors and more. First of all, when I called you R. Kelly, I didn't mean all these things. A child predator who had CP and tight sex trafficker, blah blah blah. When I called you R. Kelly, that is a hood term. I'm sorry, I'm from kind of a hood area, right? That is a hood term that we use to call people who do things or you know who are just sexually engaged when people are underage point blank period it's kind of a slang it's not meant to be taken serious as it's charging you know what i'm saying when i called you r kelly i didn't mean you're a sex trafficker or a rapist i was saying that you're talking to underage girls because as we all know r kelly for some odd reason just had an interest only in underage girls never really grown adults <laughs> even though he was in a position of power where he could get grown adults and just snap a finger but yet you still want to mess with like six year olds and shit like that that's why that term was invented as a slang in the trenches or in the hood or in the urban area or whatever when you're a grown adult messing with people underage that is r kelly behavior not in the sense that you know you're a sex trafficker but in the sense that you're interested in girls who are underage that's it and you kind of were on the r kelly behavior type shit being interested in girls who are underage you literally said here yeah and i mean anyways i think you're cute and i know i'm 18 but there that's two years and no one said anything about dating or blah 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 so and you proceed to also tell her that i'll simp even harder and she tells you that you're 18 and you say you don't get it look at your role granted that could be out of context obviously that's a screenshot cut off there could be more to that situation but that still doesn't look good you have to admit that right you're 18 telling a 16 year old that you'll simp her doesn't really make sense and i get it. it's only two year difference but oh i guess it's whatever your moral compass is that you know some people are cool with it some people aren't cool with it obviously i'm not cool with really like 18 year olds 19 year olds messing with like 16 15 year olds despite only being a two-year difference but i feel like the two-year difference should only go when like maybe you go to high school together so, like you're a senior and she's a sophomore even though i still kind of question well because you're about to graduate so it was like why wow, you messing with a sophomore but that's besides the point there might be certain times that can be acceptable but i just feel like 18 to 16 it's a bit of a stretch you know what i'm saying i feel like a 16 year old is, is just too young at the moment to well, well it's kind of crazy because i kind of didn't really get why people can still call me carson you know he was like 19 she was only 17 so there's not really a big difference between between 16 to 17 you know one's just a sophomore one's a junior still in high school right and the other one's not in high school i don't know because now that i think about it, i'm kind of conflicted about the situation i don't know why like just 18 or 16 seems more morally corrupt and 17 and 19 doesn't really seem like that like that's acceptable maybe because they're about to turn 18 or next year you know it's like okay it's like why does it matter she's about to be 18 in what several months so nothing's wrong with it maybe that's it anyways i got off track trying to point out my own hypocrisy you have to admit you said Said some wild things you also said this i have a crush on a cp distributor why would you say that like i kind of understand like it's a joke but that's not the best joke they make you know like the fuck was that about that shit some fucking crazy shit but and again like the part of my own hypocrisy i do agree with like speed being unbanned after he made this like rapey joke against ash cash but remember we have his chat lock say if we the last two people on earth and we had to reproduce to make the world continue would you uh reproduce with me no, because that means our kids will have to intertwine and then their kids, no. Who gonna stop me? Oh, uh, okay. You had me go in there for the first part. The second half kind of threw me. Well, dude, dude, th think about it. She's out in the middle of nowhere with some dude she barely knows. Ah, uh, there's nowhere for me to run. What am I gonna do, say no? Who's gonna stop me? I will. If we the last two people on earth, who gonna stop me? Okay, that, <laughs> <laughs> that seems really dark. No, no, it's not dark. You're misunderstanding me, bro. I'm, I'm, I think I am. Yeah, you are. <laughs> because if the girl said no, then the answer obviously is no. No. But the right. thing is, is she's not gonna say yeah. no. She would never say no because of the implication. You're not stopping me! We're the last two people on earth who gonna stop me! But it sounds like she doesn't want to have Why sex. Why aren't you with understanding? You? This. I don't. She she doesn't know whether she wants to have sex with me. It's that she doesn't know. That's not the issue. So Are you going to hurt? Be a, women? I'm not going to hurt oh, these women. Okay. Why would I ever hurt these women? I, don't know. I feel like you're not getting this at all. I'm at not all. getting it. 
If we the last two people on earth, who gonna stop me? If y'all know, there was this huge drama on Twitter between that because the act man said that speech should still be banned for making this rapey joke and, you know, everybody in the commentary community they could think about. Sessor Society, Optimus, you know, all the other commentary YouTubers, they came out and defended speech. Said, bro, he was like 16. He was a kid. Why are you trying to hold it against him? Blah, blah, blah. Then, um, they totally exposed him for this old tweet of him saying it and words. Anyways, so, Brodon continuing to say that, um, I believe you're a bad fit for what you did to me trying to make me out as some child predator says pedo despite the fact that a lot of things you showed in the shorts for cut of type behavior is wrong and has caused damage to my reputation slander as a few people have falsely accused you of things and backed it up with your video first of all i said in a video i'm not trying to cancel you no i said just one people's opinions and um, i showed the screenshots so they can have their own opinions i never swayed anybody to uh, oh, i did say you are not r kelly type behavior but bro i think using my video to back up their um claims why didn't you come with your own defense <laughs> why didn't you bro pull up your own evidence that my shit was out of context because whether it was out of context or not that shit looks pretty bad my nigga you knew this girl's underage and you flirted with her anyway this is not the same situation as my last video totally different so i don't know why you're trying to compare yourself because it's not the same i think that's all i want to say to the response i do admit maybe people are kind of tripping out about an 18 year old and maybe a 16 year old maybe maybe people might be tripping out a little too much but that's still kind of a problem my guy on top of that you took me out of context just because you know you probably don't know the slang that i'm using yeah i don't know what else to say besides i wasn't trying to damage your career i guess when i did make that video i put a little sauce on it but you know i wasn't trying to destroy you my guy anyways i got a burger to eat so i'm out stay away for too long don't go to bed i'll make a cup of coffee for your head i'll get you up and going out of bed